So can I get a show of hands, ladies? How many of y'all like to cuddle after sex? <laughs> okay, how many of y'all just like to get up, take your shower, get your money, and go home? <laughs> 17, 18. <laughs> so, I'm a college graduate. My degree is in theater and anthropology. So that means I can act like I found something. <laughs> Question, why is it, question, you know, uh, being an anthropologist, I watch all the anthropological shows, like I watch Shaft in Africa, and um, <laughs> I watch Shaka Zulu twice. So, question, why is it when they show a white woman's breasts on TV, you would know, because you're a white woman, why is it, why is it when they show a white woman's breasts on TV, that's called pornography, but when they show a black woman's breasts on TV, that's anthropology? <laughs> What's up with that? What's up with that? No, this black woman with these 42 Ds down to her knees. She's running, they slapping in the head. Shaka Zulu, Shabam! And they always, always, always show it in slow motion. The white man coming to take away our Shabam! She has to hold one under each arm so that she can remain conscious during the episode. And that's the anthropology. We gotta talk about that. No, but it's not just men looking at women because it's women looking at men too because they always have that white Margaret Mead type character from England. And the ninjas and the African man. You know it, the African man is doing that tribal dance with the long bazinga. Hanging down to, you know, and he's like, oh, she's your own Woo! <laughs> Honey, put that in rewind. I missed that. <laughs> just bugging. Just moved back to New York City. I was living upstate New York in New Paltz. Y'all know New Paltz, New York? <laughs> Suck town. Anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. I was living upstate New Paltz. No, but like a black woman usually says she was living upstate. Automatically, you think I was in prison, right? <laughs> but I wasn't. My boyfriend was. <laughs> and he's out now. Free at last. Anyway. No, no New Paltz has a distinction of being the only city in New York State where the original settlers were German. German Shepherd. Anyway, so, <laughs> moving back to the city, I was hanging out with my aunt, and she's the worst person. I told her, I said, went shopping today. I said, Auntie, I fainted inside the department store. It was just so how I fainted. She said, so? So what? I got hit by a bus once. <laughs> then I got up and got on the same bus. <laughs> and the driver made me pay. <laughs> no, you know those people get no sympathy. I said, Auntie, I was at dance class. I was doing the plies and everything. And I sprained my ankle. So? <laughs> I don't even have an ankle. <laughs> Just better thank God you got an ankle. Learn how to count your blessings. Okay, all right. Cool. Anyway, so I just moved city, and um, I, was, I like hanging out with my stupid friend, because everybody has a stupid friend. There's four of y'all, six of y'all at this table, one of y'all is stupid, okay? <laughs> you don't have to identify them now, but it's always good to hang out with a stupid person, because they make you feel so much more superior, don't they? <laughs> so I'm hanging out with my stupid friend. This was when Nelson Mandela came to town, and um, he was like, I was, I'm hanging out, and she's like, well, why are they giving him a ticket to a parade? I said, because he was in prison for 27 years. She says, so? My father was in prison for 27 years, and they ain't give him no ticker tape parade. I said, see, well, it's different. See, Nelson Mandela was in prison for liberating his people, and your father was in prison for liberating them TVs from that department store. 